Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of my Premedic jerseys review for the upcoming season. Um, two things ahead. Uh, first one is, I apologize again to Huddersfield fans, I really forgot you when I made the video uh, the other day, late at night. And yeah, you got your own special treatment, your jerseys are shown on the full screen. So I hope that makes up for it. Um, next up, I also apologize for the sound quality on the previous two videos. I'm making this on a laptop and I was not aware that I'm holding my hand over the microphone. So the sound got muffled and was a lot of work kind of repairing it. I didn't want to repeat the recording for the simple reason that there was some spontaneity in there that I just couldn't recapture, I think. so. For that reason, yes, the sound quality is bad, but I hope uh, it's still a good video. Now I'm also doing something uh, different here. The window is open. I'm doing it in the morning because uh, I can. It's the weekend. And yeah, it's a slightly different setting. Uh, maybe a little bit more pleasant. I don't know. You let me know. And the last thing is I'm not wearing a Premier League shirt because the five teams that we're covering today, there are quite some big teams in there, but unfortunately I don't have a jersey of these yet. So uh, the teams that we're covering, uh, Leicester, we almost got a jersey last year. We have Liverpool, don't have a Liverpool jersey. We have Manchester City, Manchester United, and we have Newcastle. At least uh, two or three of those I really would like to have a jersey, if not all of them. But yeah, let's get right to it. So I'm wearing the England jersey. Uh, and I know I can keep this up for the Premier League. I probably can keep this up for uh, League A, which I'm going to do next. Serie A for sure. Also, somewhat ish for Premier Division. But when it comes to the Bundesliga, I have neither Germany jersey nor do I have any jersey from <laughs> a, a Bundesliga team. We're going to see what I'm going to do there. I have scarves. Maybe we can do the, some, something there. But yeah. Enough of the ramble and let's get to the jerseys. Let's keep this video hopefully shortish too. We'll start off with Leicester, which unfortunately changed from uh, Puma to Adidas, which is a little bit weird considering Adidas is now going only for really the big name teams, which England would be Manchester United. In the Bundesliga, they only have Bayern left. They terminated all other contracts, which I really find curious. Uh, it looks weird to me, but more at later. So Leicester, it's a blue jersey, uh, as we would expect. Um, yes, it is an Adidas version of it. Maybe the one thing, the fold over v-neck with the yellow, that's the one thing that bothers me a little bit. Yes, it connects a little bit to the fox on the crest and maybe the gold crown. There's also a very thin yellow sleeve trim. Yep, uh, barely weaves about the jersey and then of course the white uh, three stripes here. The jersey is nothing spectacular. Uh, I actually liked all the Puma versions better uh, that they had previously. So I, I gotta go five here. <laughs> the away jersey. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know what color this is. That's how bad it is. First of all, it's not a good contrast to the home jersey. That's the first thing that gotta be said here. Uh, and that already bumps it down. Then, yeah, we have the Condivo template by Adidas, which on some looks nice and some looks bad. Here, I actually, it makes it look worse. And then the color scheme with the orange and whatever that color is, blue, gray, green, I don't know. You tell me what, what color is it. This is horrible. Two stars. I don't want to say more. I'm sorry. As much as I like Leicester, and uh, of course, who doesn't like Leicester after they became champions uh, two years ago? Uh, they're kind of everybody's darling, but no, this is a horrible jersey. Two stars. I It's just uh, decent enough that it's not a one-star jersey. Now, let's get to the first big boy Champions League finalist, Liverpool. <laughs> this jersey, I actually, in many ways, this is a classic Liverpool jersey. I really like that one. There are only a few things here that uh, bother me. And they probably will keep them from a perfect rating. First of all, the live bird I like better if it's in gold or in yellow. Uh, uh, the white one, yeah, it fits well within, but you know, 
make it golden but I understand and that's fun so it needs to be golden and so on yeah so it fits uh, I like the overall you know the polo collar this looks really cool but then the white striping along the collar is odd and then of course the one here on the shoulders which we already saw with Costa Rica and Panama I really don't like that one uh, that one I would have liked to see omitted I maybe can live with the white along the collar but even there I think I would prefer to just to be plain red uh, the sponsor, of course, is a little bit too clunky in a way. Um, a little bit less would be better here, but other than this, I like the nice structure on the shirt. Uh, if I look at the back, yeah, there the white line doesn't doesn't look as bad. And of course, we have the 96 and the two flames on the back, which always looks nice in uh, white numbers. This is a really nice shirt. Overall, get rid of the... A weird striping especially on the front and we're talking uh, almost a 10 here but I guess with a few things I have to drop it down to 8 it's really nice it's really nice so this is uh, 8 let's go to the away jersey <laughs> this is everything but nice uh, it has to, it's basically the same with just a round color, but it's in purple and in two different shades. You have the light purple on the front and we have a dark purple on the back and then we have orange accents. And don't get me wrong, those could be nice colors, but they're not Liverpool colors. In addition, for a dedicated away jersey, it just provides way too little contrast. That's also something I don't like about this one. So yeah, uh, there are already two big negatives here, the color scheme, uh, no, and then, uh, you know, the, the, the two-sidedness of this jersey, this is not good. It's better than the Leicester jersey though, so I give it a three. Um, purple and orange for other clubs, or maybe the Dutch national team might have looked nice, but here I just, I just cannot take it. And then the third jersey that provides the contrast, but of course needs to mess it up with an overall pattern print on the front. I actually think that the white and gray is really smart um, with the red accents. That is nice. And also on the back, yeah, I mean, yeah, the sleeves are like with uh, Costa Rica, they're darker on the back than on the front, which is this makes also a weird uh, two-faced look, which I don't like. Then we can get rid of the red here. But take out the pattern on the, on the front, we're talking a really nice jersey, but the pattern, unless, please let, let, let me know if this has any connection to Liverpool. I personally doubt it, but if it does, uh, I might consider raising this one. But this way, unfortunately, this is not better than the uh, away jersey. Although the color scheme is smart and it provides contrast, but it just this ah, Too much 80s, too much 90s, I thought those days are over. Three stars. Sorry to say that. Now let's move on to Manchester City. Of course we have a Nike. The classic Nike template. This is basically a Manchester City version of the France jersey uh, with the big sponsor. Um, the first thing I have to say is it looks smart but has a little bit too many different shades of blue. The light blue base uh, is what, what I, I would expect, also the kind of navy applications. Um, but then that the sleeves have already a different color than the torso, is a, uh, the base of the sleeves is already bugging me a little bit. The zigzaggy pattern in navy, that is not uh, too bad. But it's a little bit too many shades of blue and if I look on the back, yeah, uh, same thing goes there. And then for me, the taping on the back, <sighs> That could have been done more, I think. All the all the Nike jerseys uh, of the home jerseys of club teams, they don't do much with the taping. I think they really could have done more here. Yes, it is uh, kind of navy, so it stands out a little bit, but I think more could have done there. I think it says city on the top of it, so there's a little something. Numbers make sense. Um, again, the Premier League font is always nice. Um, it kind of leaves me cold, to be honest. Uh, it's not a bad jersey per se, but I think, yeah, it's a decent city jersey, so I give it a seven stars. Now, the away jersey, yeah, <laughs> that one is really nice. 
of course it's navy so you always gonna have a nice uh, standing with me there uh, but this is more it's not the plain navy which I actually would have gone lower but um, the pinstriping is really nice I think the five stripes um, two in the light blue that we are used to that run through the crest and the swoosh and then centered is kind of a garish green that's also on the sides um, I don't know why that color was chosen again if you have any insight on that please let let me know uh, but it actually makes the jersey pop this is a really nice jersey uh, again the the light, neon green I don't uh, like per se but it makes sense in this context to really make it pop and make something special and what I also like is that on the back the striping continues uh, and you see the taping it not only says city on top but it is also in the same two colors so they did something there and this looks cool uh, the white numbers make sense and of course in European uh, comp competition if they were to wear this this has to go the striping on the back they will only show a little bit on the bottom which is a pity this is a really great shirt um, because of the shade of green, although I like it here, I only go 9 here, but this is close, very close to a 10. Really, really nice shirt. Now, I also know that there's a third jersey, but for that I have no info really yet, so I'm gonna leave it, and I leave it for uh, part 5. I'm gonna have for all the leagues that I'm gonna preview, if I don't see a jersey, I will all throw them together in a part 5, so or an um, addendum part. So let's go to the City Rivals, which actually is a pun, Manchester City City Rivals, uh, the big team from Manchester, <laughs> one is inclined to say Manchester United. And when I first saw this jersey, I thought this looks okay, but the sponsor ruins it and I still maintain this way. Uh, am I okay with the um, gradient on the bottom? Not too big, big a fan of gradients, but this one actually looks okay and it somewhat makes sense because it goes into black pants, which is contentious, I gotta say, because I think a Manchester United kid should have white pants and black socks. Also, I would like the color to be white to get a little bit more white into this shirt, but overall this would be a decent shirt, but squint, look at it and squint. What pops out? It's not the red, it's not the gradient, it's the sponsor that with the gold and the silver just does not fit with the shirt. Make a big Chevrolet word mark and we will talk a really great jersey but this way I, I'm sorry it's just a seven. I cannot go higher with this one. Um, the sponsor really ru ruins it. They should do more. Uh, it is plain and with the gradient I, I really like it but uh, also the black striping. The collar, I think, could be white with a black outline. That would really look nice. That would really make it an all um, nice Manchester United jerseys. This way it's maybe a little tad too plain. And again, sponsor wins it. Uh, if I look on the back, yeah, the same thing. I mean, this looks a little bit more like it with the white numbers. But yeah, I'm going to stay with the 7. Here. And now for the away jersey, this one, uh, it's rumored. I hope this is the shade that will be used pink a very light version of pink with black uh, it's kind of a smart look but it looks would look smart for Juventus it doesn't look very smart for Manchester United I'm sorry to say uh, it seems like pink for pink's sake kind of a little bit of a cash grabby thing uh, monochromatic logos and again the Chevy cross is just popping too much out uh, yeah is it the Condivo template? Yeah, it's also the Condivo template in addition that you see there. It's better than the last one, but still it's three. It's not a Manchester United shirt. Uh, Manchester United should have a white or a blue kit. And yeah, let's look at the third jersey. Yeah, here we get the blue. Again, it's a navy, but this one makes a lot more sense. If I look at it, yes, I'm not sure about this pattern. It kind of looks a little bit too steely. In, in my opinion and again it has this uh, it's not really too faced if I look at the back it just looks on the picture this way it makes a lot more sense because uh, again it's a monochromatic logo but it's in gold we have the Adidas in gold too and we have the Chevy logo and everything in gold this makes sense this looks actually good this is the best one of all of them uh, 
It's just I'm 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 not sure that the blue is not Manchester United enough. That's I think the my only complaint about them. But I'm gonna go eight with this one. This actually looks really nice overall. Um, again, if I would get a Manchester United jersey shirt, it should be a red one. But as an away shirt, this one I actually I like this one. A third jersey. I hope we see more of that than of the pink jersey. Now, overall, if I look at all three of them, the contrast, yeah, I guess the pink one is the light one, but the contrast is too little. I'm sorry to say, and this is always a gripe with me. Uh, there needs to be more contrast. And then we are at the last one, Newcastle United. Oh, I like the black and white stripes. Uh, as you know, my favorite team in Austria uses black and white stripes, so of course that's a given. For me, um, I really like what Puma did here. The one thing I don't like is again the sponsor. And just squint at it. Uh, it's not that it's popping out again. It's more like there's suddenly a hole because of this asymmetrically Chinese lettering here to the right. Um, if this is centered, it might look better, but this just looks odd. It's like this weird hole in the jersey if I squint at it. Um, other than that, this is a really nice jersey. The sponsor again ruins it. I'm sorry to say, I, I, this is a, a theme that's going through my Premier League. Uh, especially if it's betting companies and if you need to get a Chinese pattern in there. One line sponsor, a big logo, that's all that they, 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 they needs. Um, for Manchester United, it should have been just Chevrolet work, word mark. would be sufficient, you don't need this cross. Here also we have the gold from the Puma logo and then we have the light blue which connects up with the band on the crest but yeah it could be much much better. Uh, I like that the sleeves are striped too, maybe not that it extends all the way to the collar but I, again this is about, if, if it goes striping wise, this is about as good as it gets. It's the correct width, I like the width of these straps uh, and also that it continues on the back. It looks really great on the back this shirt, on the front sponsor ruins it. So. The, yeah, gonna go seven here. Make the sponsor better by talking nine. Honestly, that it that, that it's that bad. Now the away jersey uh, has like the Manchester United third jersey a much more cohesive look with the gold. Again, the gold we can talk about. Uh, do we need the gold here? What does what did? Newcastle earn. I mean, you really should be a champion. Yeah, you earned promotion, but yeah, uh, that's the one thing. But it fits well within the context. I think I like the gold here better than the white. Uh, again, and also that the striping, the darker stripes on the. So we have the red base, and then we have the dark uh, blue, almost navy stripes, and they're chosen such such a way that it splits up the sponsor. This is a really nice touch. I like the coloring because it references a previous jersey. Um, quite nice. Uh, also the white pants. It's a really strong effort. It looks cohesive. Despite the weird sponsor, this looks cohesive and really nicely executed. I think this is an 8 star. Maybe the one weird thing is the uh, shoulders where the striping becomes vert uh, vertical instead of horizontal. Really nice. And then of course there's a third jersey that I don't have a dedicated look, but we have it here together with the other jerseys. And yeah, the color is... Blah. I'm sorry to say. Um, that's kind of this turquoise cyan shade. I don't like it. A black color, but then the, maybe some white stripes here on the side, which would even make it odder. But this is... I cannot go higher than three here. Uh, I'm sorry. The other two are, those are great jerseys. Get a nicer sponsor, uh, make the sponsor pop maybe a little bit more. But yeah, the other two are really, really nice. Well, so we have seven for the home, eight for the away, and only a three for the third jersey. Well, let me know what you thought about this. Um, if you disagree with my comments here, feel free to disagree. If you uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. 
Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.